Hello, how are you guys? I'm back again. This is your boy Danny Simawiri, Daniel Shkuni, and I'm back with another video. I just want to show you what it takes to be a profitable trader, how to be consistent and stuff. So I'm going to show you the emails that you got, but it always depends with the broker. It always depends with the broker. Some brokers, they don't send emails about you. Your current trades running, your closed profits, your closed zero, um, closed losses and stuff. So this is what it is, guys. So this is the video for today. I'm just gonna show you what it takes to be a profitable trader. So you can see that you can go for a week, for a month, for a year, making money, compounding interest, compounding the money that what that grows, that grows. So all you have to do is what you plant the seed. You water the tree, then you eat the fruit. So that's what it is. The money, money is used to make more money. That's what you have to do. You, know? you don't have to work for money. Money has to work for you. So that's what it is. You plant the seed, you water your, 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 your tree, then you eat the fruit. That's what it is. So that's what it is with trading as well. You open an account, you deposit your account, you start trading, you make some money, or you draw some money. That's what it is. As a farmer as well, You've got your kettles. Don't just keep those kettles. What you have to do is to what to milk those kettles or sell them, get some income, and do some other things, you know, because it compounds, you know, it compounds. So that's what it is. So just gonna show you the emails that I have, emails that I have, you know, shows like this guy is very serious. Whenever you are looking for someone to teach you how to trade, you have to ask for his equity curve, his emails, his equity curve, you know, yeah. I think each and every broker shows the equity curve, but when it comes to email, I've seen like FXCM doesn't send you some emails about your current running trades and the trades that you closed. So that's what it is. The equity curve, that's the equity curve. That's the kind of, kind of uh, thinking of the trades, you know. So this is the uh, hot forex. This is my hot forex account. So for now, as you can see here. As you can see in this account, there is uh the previous was 117. This is the money that is in, in my trading account. $117. $117. Then the closed profits. The closed profits. The closed profits. The closed profits. That's what? The closed profits. So the closed profits, that's how much? That's for one dollars. Close the trade. That's for one dollars. Then the balance now is one hundred fifty-eight dollars. Then we look at yet the floating, the floating amount, the profits or the losses that is running is two hundred eighteen dollars in profit that is running. Then we say one hundred fifty-eight plus two hundred plus two hundred eighteen dollars is equals to three hundred seventy-six dollars. So that's the equity now. So the equity is the balance that is in your mama ma in, in your trading account and the profit that is running or the loss that is running then you get the equity so that's what it is then the margin uh, margin requirement you know the available margin and stuff you know that's how it works so this is what you have to look for guys and you can see here I've got almost $18.86 this is the swap this is the swap that's the money that they charge you the man that they charge you for placing trades for holding trades you know so it depends with the time frame it depends also with the broker the kind of a broker that you are using to what to trade some brokers they don't even charge like fxcm i see like they don't charge anywhere or they don't charge uh, swaps it was like really so this thing is for free because i've seen like they can charge you one cent three cents and stuff and sometimes you can see like they can give you three cents and stuff and i'll be like I was surprised, but with this one, it's okay. I don't have any problem with the hot forex, you know. They charge swaps, it's normal, and I can see some some of them is charge some commissions as well. Because I closed these Bitcoin trades. Uh there was a commission of one cent, one cent on each. And how much did I close? I made almost uh that's foot one dollars. Do I have to cry about it? No, I don't have to cry about it because I've been charged, you know. That's what it is. It's like when you want to private car you should know that you have to service that car that's an expense you put fuel that's an expense you wash it that's an expense. when you park you can give these other guys that show you how to park and stuff so that you don't crash into someone's car 
give them five round it depends you know five round even three round you know it depends you know but it's not like it's a first meter but it's such short of appreciation you have to appreciate so that's one and the same thing you have to be charged you can't trade for nothing you have to charge some commissions you have to charge some swaps and stuff you know but at the end of the day how much did you make i made more money than that i more more money than that so this was the close the trade that was for one dollars yeah so this is what it is guys then we move on to the next one let me look for the next one where's the next one this was what forex let me look for fxcm fxcm let me look for xm not fxcm xm this is f xm 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 so here we are this is the previous ledger previously that is 106 then the balance was minus 76 equity six dollars 30 and the uh, profit or loss is what available band six dollars state so i almost blew out this account i almost blew out your account so but that's what it is that's what it is you know you make money you lose money that's trading and we look come back to the, this one as well we look at this one that's xm as well that one was for the indices and this one is for the forex so i've got two accounts with xm i've got one for the years of that i trade the the indices and the one that i trade the the forex so on the mt4 i'm using uh, i'm doing forex then on the other one i'm do mt5 i'm trading the indices so that's what it is so this one i'm killing the game because as you can see here i what i closed some profits that's five dollars sixty seven dollars five dollars sixty seven cents that's the profit that i made and it's something you know it's something it's something is killing the game and now we go on down here this is the floating profit so floating profit 63 dollars eight then you can see that it's 71 dollars 54 that's the money that i have that's the profits that i have I like this is the money then i go charged these are swaps so you can see here it's a swap swap you get charged swap 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 so so Seventy-one dollars fifty-four minus seven dollars fifty-four seventy-four. That's the charge that are charging me for a swap. So minus that one, I'm left with sixty dollars eighty. That's okay. Do I have to cry about it? No. That's how the game works. You know. So all I have to do is to be disciplined, being patient, sticking to my plan, planning my trade, trading my plan. More patience and managing my emotions. That's one of the hardest part. You know. And I thought that I would become like, when I started to become a profitable, consistent trader, my trades would be on point, like, but it's a hassle, you know, you grow every day, you grow every day, you grow every day. So that's what it is, guys. So previous ledger is $169. That's almost $170. Then I closed some profit for $5.67. I don't have any withdrawal at this broker. I will never withdraw, but any time from now, I'll be withdrawing. I'll be milking my cows. I'll be milking the markets. That's withdrawing, you know. Pulling them, pulling out, pulling out. Check your money. Pull it up, pull it up. Check your money. You know, that's what it is. Then the balance now, so that's $169 plus close profit, $5.67. The balance is $175. That's the money that is running now. So that's the floating profit, $63.80. That's the floating pro pro profit. Then the total credit facility. You know what it is. Then equity is $315. You see. So that's what it is. So this is what it, this is one of the things that I didn't know when I started trading. And I didn't know. And I, I'm trying to teach people to tell people like this is what you have to ask for. Even with my mentor, I would just like that. He was into it and he was making the markets and he was killing the game. But I even didn't know, I didn't even know that I have to ask him this kind of question. So that's why we're making this video, try to make you get some, to let you get some info about the trading journey, how to trade and stuff, what to ask from the mentor. Can I see your balance sheet? Can I see your exit cave? Can I see your emails? Like... But emails they always depends with the broker not every broker can send you some emails so i've seen like xm and hold forex that's the brokers that i'm using one of the brokers that i'm using they send you emails like every day every day every week every month so they send you an 
daily daily email then a weekly email then a monthly email no then a yearly as well send you an early email yeah send you obvious so that's what it is guys this is the kind of a thing that i have to that you have to ask you what your mentor when you someone tells you like i do trade i can teach you how to trade ask him for his balance sheet ask him even 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 the bank balance bank balance can tell tell us a lot even the lifestyle lifestyle it tells a lot tells a lot even what the car is drives tells a lot because you can see this person is there's a great improvement in this person now. But the other problem that I've seen with people, don't you ever think that if your mentor is making money, you are also guaranteed to make money. No ways. There's nothing like that, guys. I'm telling you from experience. It's about you. Everything is about you. Of course, yeah, a mentor, you've got some contributing factors, like this is what you have to do and stuff. And now it's about you, like how are you going to manage your emotions? How are you going to manage your risk? How are you going to be consistent like following your plan when the market is killing you, when the market is churning, chowing money from you? So guys, this is the video for today. I just wanted to show you like what it is, what it takes to trade. What do you have to ask when someone wants to teach you how to trade? You? What are the questions? What are the questions? So this is your boy Danny Sima Weary. I'm back again with another video on how, which um questions do you have to ask from your mentor so the questions that you have asked for your mentor is like can i see your bank balance your balance sheets then your trades that are running and stuff your withdrawal your equity and stuff that's 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 a whole hell a lot of stuff you know so it's bank balance equity cap balance sheet um uh, equity cap withdrawals yeah trading withdrawals yeah, even the bank withdrawals. Yeah, they make a lot of sense. Yes, I think so. They make a lot of sense, you know. Even the lifestyle, and it's very easy. Just the lifestyle can can tell a lot. A lifestyle can tell a lot, you know. You see that this person is living large. He's living large, guys. There's nothing she's greater than financial freedom. I'm telling you guys, financial freedom is is a good thing. That's all I can say. It's a good thing. Financial freedom. It's a good thing. Hmm? Don't let anyone tell you to buy your time. Don't let one buy you your time. That's like going to work. Someone is buying your times. So you don't have a life. That's what it is. When someone buys your time, you don't have a life. That's the honest thing that I can tell you like someone can tell you you have to come here this time you have to leave this place this time ah uh, yes 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 i'm very sorry for you guys who are still going to work but anyway it's part of the gene i've been there i've been working but i was like you know what yeah i'm working for now i'm working but i had a goal that i have to attain and i attained that goal and i quit now i'm living the life that i prayed for that i fasted for that i worked for i prayed at first i worked those three things made me who i am made me sit in this car and make this video on this nice phone so see you in the next video guys hope you enjoyed this one this is your boy danny simaware so just do a recap on what i said when you are looking for a man to ask for his equity cap balance sheet uh, bank balance uh, withdrawals from the trading account equity cap even just checking his lifestyle can tell a lot it's very simple as that someone who is living like you don't there's no way you can even like struggle to see you can see like oh in the skin guy can tell you dressing car drives type of relationship that he has with his wife and stuff because when you're married and you've got some mula most of things them they want the flow because women all they need is value man whenever you have good value uh, they all flock in like like highness saying this from experience hope i'll check you in the next one hope you share like comment and subscribe to my old boy danny sim away bye